So what are your expectations then? What do you hope to achieve with this move? Um, so actually we are uh, happy to offer to our consumers a tariff which really meets their needs. And we were actually the first to have such a tariff in the market. Why is, Claudia, the, the German market so much more expensive than other markets? I mean, I have to confess, uh, having only lived in Germany and the U.S., I, I happen to have lived in the two most expensive markets and haven't noticed it. But Bloomberg dug through the data, and we can see that other countries have much cheaper unlimited data rates. So actually, uh, in the U.S. market, the average revenue per user is higher than in other markets. Um, I do believe uh, that uh, Germany is actually um, a very good market when it comes to uh, what you actually get for what you pay. What I have to say that we do have quite good coverage here here in Germany. I can I can attest to that. But uh, the, the costs are high. Do you find that customers push back at all or are they willing to pay because they want the data so much, Claudia? Are they willing to pay just whatever it takes to get that? So what we see actually is feedback from our consumers that uh, the most important buying criteria is actually network quality. And as Deutsche Telekom, we are actually happy that repeatedly we have won uh, the prize for the best network in the German market. And we actually see from our consumer feedback that this really pays off. Uh, your department is also looking, Claudia, at the possibility of launching 5G commercial trials this year. How confident are you that you can stick to that time frame? Uh, so actually, we said we do uh, commercial trials for 5G this year and that the commercial launch of 5G will happen in the year 2020. And we're actually very confident that we will keep that timeline. What do you expect from 5G, Cloudy? I mean, what is the customer, what is the consumer going to see as a difference using 5G as opposed to 4G, which is already quite uh, quick in terms of delivering uh, video, for example, or other data services? Yes, see, we are very excited about 5G because the speed is 10 times higher and the latency, the reaction time of the network is 10 times lower. But we actually believe that 5G is not just a killer app on a smartphone. We believe that 5G is actually an entirely new business model. Uh, today, we have connected millions of human beings in Germany, and in the future, it will be billions of smart things, machines, uh, services, and you really need 5G in order to do that securely. I'm sure that Matt will, uh, will verify that Germany's uh, economic future uh, to some extent depends on connectivity, connected cars, connected homes, connected services. How does Deutsche Telekom hope to make money out of that trend? Um, see, uh, the 5G offers the opportunity for totally new business models. In the past, you buy a SIM card and a data tariff, and in 5G, uh, you will pay for a functioning services. For instance, uh, for uh, parking lot services, you don't pay a connectivity fee, but we have revenue sharing agreements with the ones who operate the parking lots. So we actually expect new revenue models to come up around 5G. OK, Claudia, thank you very much for joining us. Claudia Nemat, board member for technology and innovation at Deutsche Telekom.